Now the three biggest culprits are going to be chlorine, copper and other hard metals, as well as iron. Now if you spend a couple thousand dollars on an iron filter and a new water softener, that's certainly going to help. What I'm going to do in our house is install a spark pod water filter that attaches to the shower head. Now I have copper pipes and clearly from the tank test, I could see that there's a lot of iron also in my water. So the combination of the KDF 55 and the coconut activated carbon is going to help remove copper as well as iron from my water supply. If you're on city water and there's a lot of chlorine in your water, this filter will also help get a lot of that out. So let's go see how easily this can be installed. So here is the spark pod shower head and filter. And backside, there are a several different materials for the multi-stage filtration. Uh, I'll put a link to uh, what these are and what they remove from water in the description. But again, my big focus is going to be iron and copper because my house has all copper pipes. All right, so let's open this thing up. Let's see what we got. All right, so we got a nice big shower head and this is the beefy filter that we're gonna put in line. All right, so it does come with some plumber's tape and it looks like some extra screens, a little restrictor if we wanna slow down the flow. I'm not sure I really wanna do that. And it uh, looks like some pretty simple instructions for the installation. Now this does have a replaceable filter and how often you need to change that will really depend on your water. Now I'm just going to use a wrench in case I need it to get the old fixture off, but to install this shower head and filter, uh, I'm just going to put everything hand tight. I will put a link to this in the description and uh, some more information on what is all inside this filter cartridge. I do not want the water restrictor in here, so using a tweezers, I am just going to pull this guy out. There is also a two and a half gallon restrictor, but I am just going to go with the screen silicone gasket. So I will just place this in there. Using a pliers, I'll just get the old head loose, and then I'll really be able to just uh, spin it off by hand. All right, a minor correction. This is the screened gasket, which we will place inside here. This silicone screen gasket, this goes inside the filter cartridge. Now, before installing the new filter cartridge, the instructions do recommend that you run hot water through the cartridge. So just pour it in the top hole and let it run through it for 60 seconds. Then you're gonna flip it over and you're gonna let hot water run through it the other way for 60 seconds. Then you can go ahead with the installation. I'm pretty happy with the shower arm in this bathroom, so I am just going to put some fresh Teflon tape around the end, and then I'll spin that new filter on. And again, we're gonna apply some Teflon tape to the bottom of the filter cartridge, and then we will spin on the new shower head that has the um, metal screen inside it, and we'll spin that on hand tight. So I ended up installing a total of three of these filters in our bathrooms. Uh, the girls are happy. The chlorine, the iron, and the copper should be removed from the water. And I was able to get all of them installed within about 30 minutes. Thanks for watching. Check out the description for more information and hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos.